I want to hear from you today about motivation, why it's so important to understand why we are buying or selling. There's something always deeper, it's layered, and maybe we're not aware of this about ourselves. Listen, DFW friends, it's not about your questions right now. It's about what Courtney wants You know, to I love hear. to have the deep talk. You've been around us long enough now to know that this is how I roll. Sort of obsessed with psychology, human behavior, why we do what we do. And I think that's one of the reasons we've had the 20 years of growth we have and 700 plus five-star Google reviews. We really do operate on this level of, hey, you know, I want to buy a three-bed, two-bath house. Okay, let's talk about why for a minute. Maybe you don't need three bedrooms. Maybe you need four. Maybe you should wait a while. Maybe, you know, you can be like, I know contracts and I know pricing, but if you can't help people through one of the most emotionally challenging times of their life, which if you've done it, you know exactly what I mean. If you've never bought and sold a home, that might not make sense to you. But when you move your home, your family, you're changing the environment of your marriage, your parenting, your eating, your exercising, your sleeping, your recreation, your homework, how you drive to church, how you drive to work, where you go grocery shop, like not even to mention the massive, regardless of what your price range is, relative to your life, it's usually a massive financial move. That's gonna stir up some thoughts and feelings. And so it is a deeply, emotional, challenging, thought-provoking time. And those agents that operate purely on a transactional basis, they miss most of that. Doesn't mean they're bad people, they're just not world-class. They're not seeing it from all levels. I'm not saying we have everything perfect either. I certainly think it's as good as it can be at the moment. The answer to your question, and there are many questions layered within it, there's an ugly thing that agents say in our business, which is buyers are liars and sellers are worse. But what that means is a lot of times buyers will say something and then that doesn't end up being what they do. In my opinion, they're rarely deliberately lying. They just haven't answered this question. Why am I buying? Why do I want a larger home? Why do we want to be in that neighborhood? Why do I not like the one I already have? Why do I hate renting? People are responsive to the group think that we talked about last week on the show. They're responsive to the assumption of what am I supposed to do next in this stage of life? Am I supposed to just go from an apartment to a small house and from a small house to a big house and from a big house to a bigger house and then later from the bigger house to a smaller house and then from the smaller house to a retirement home and then you know to the graveyard. Like, that's kind of a sad story, but just, that's what everyone else does. So that's what I'm supposed to do. And what we try to do here at the Touch Money Home Selling Team and what I help try to help train agents all over the country to do is slow down a little bit before you go speed up and find out what really truly is important to someone and really help them answer questions that they haven't even asked themselves yet. You know, did you call a real estate agent because you're, you're going to have a baby and now you need more house because that's kind of what everybody does. Or have you really thought through that? And now the real reason you want to buy a house, yes, it's because you would like more space, but it's also because you want to provide for your family, what your parents never provided for you in your whole life. You've really lived kind of on this underlying quest to be a better provider and create more safety and continuity in the home because you're still a little bit angry about growing up without that. Like, whoa, that's a very different reason that you might be buying a home right now. Or because you have this deep, 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 deep desire to be a generous giver of dinners and gifts and checks and financial resources and creating a safe, engaging, comfortable, cozy place for people to be. And you're not currently living in that place. And it's, it feels like why God put you on this earth to go and help do that. And you haven't fully figured it out, but there's a tugging inside of you. And if we could help you figure that out, you might really, really come to life and moving out of your three bedroom into a five bedroom with one from one living space to two or three living spaces, you start to come to life and be who you feel like you were meant to be. Once you know that with more clarity, we can get this right more likely and we can help you go, well, that one is five bedrooms, but I don't think it lines up with what you're dreaming about. This other five bedroom is more of that. And now we can help you better achieve that dream or that purpose or that goal, whether it's wealth building or impact or family or safety, sometimes right or wrong, it's proving someone wrong that said, you'll never make it that you'll never live there. You'll never have that. I'm not saying that's the best motivator, but it can, it can sometimes get us over the hump of where we were to where we want to be. Those are just a few of the thoughts of what actually drives buyers and sellers.